Hi, welcome to my inspiration video. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a bow front card. Now to get started what you need to do is get an A4 piece of card and score the lines so you make a gatefold. Once you get that then you need to start off with by getting your topper. So have a look on a CD and see which images you like. So I'm going to start with this lovely cake image. Now to start off with I'm going to put that on the top of there and what I want to do is just draw around it and I'm just using a pencil and I'm using a darker pencil than normal so you can see what I'm doing so I'm literally going all the way along like so until I've drawn around the whole of the topper so there's my image the next part is to cut that out now my top tip is to turn it out like so and then get my this is my top of my covering I'm going to fix that onto here so I'm just going to make an, a little mark put this to one side now I just have my paper trimmer that is fallen to the floor there we go. Now I'm using my craft room. Now the craft room comes with a little paper trimmer. So let's put that on there. The one thing you need to do when you use this paper trimmer, you need to make sure your piece of paper is totally straight. So that's where I'm going to have it. Then I'm going to just get my paper trimmer, line it up. Once I'm happy with it, I'm cutting it up. Now I have left on my perforator, so I'm just going to perforate it like so and then I'm going to fix this on one side and then on the other. Now the reason why I'm doing it this way is so I can see because I'm going to cut this out and that's going to be one side and this is going to be the other side. So just make it sure it lines up so I'm using one of the papers off the CD. Fix it on like so just need to make sure that I've got it the right way around so that's the bottom bit fix it on so let's line this up like that and do the same on the other side now you can use any type of adhesive I'm using my 3-in-1 glue because it's very quick and it dries straight away that onto the other side make sure you've got it totally lined up wiggle it into place like so now top tip just to recap this I've already drawn is going to be my topper so my topper is going to sit there on there okay so once you've backed it all you're then going to do is get your pair of scissors and go around it like that and what you're doing is you're getting the shape of your topper. So just go all the way along that dark line. And you, what I tend to normally do is cut on the outside of it. So it's just a little bit back, bigger. So there's one side. And then you're going to repeat with the other side. Go all the way along. Now this will make the front of your card all the way along until you come to the end of it and then the next bit is to actually put your inside paper so there is my two panels it's going to go like so on either side and that's going to sit in the middle next get your back paper put your adhesive adhesive in the middle now this needs to be completely covered so I'm going to go from the whole of the back there then you, before you stick that into place, you just need to line it up like that. So that needs to go there. Cross your adhesive on. Slide it into place. Close your panels so you make sure you've got it in the correct position, which is that. And then you get your sheet of acetate. The sheet of acetate is going to stick like that 
and that's going to make your dome shape. So what you need to do is make sure you could do any glittering. Now obviously we don't have much time on these videos so you I'm sure you've got loads of glitter at home and glitter them using your quickie glue pen and you need to do that part first and once you're happy then you get your acetate that I've cut just a bit bigger than A4 just sorry to A5 just to give me my dome shape and there you go then to finish up what I want to do is to a special couple I'm going to have that there and then we're going to put a rose at the bottom now you can use some peel offs on the top and bottom if you wanted to you can even use some more pearls now I'm just going to you have to make sure you hold it into place if you're using glue finish off let's just bow the little rose I'm going to put that on there and I'm just going to put some adhesive on either side and there we go a lovely little dome card so have a go and have your crafting <laughs>